What's up, everybody? Um, out on the, uh, the KTM today, I'm actually going to uh, meet a buddy of mine from work, and we're going to go out and uh, check out his ranch, have a little fun out there. But, uh, so first of all, updates, updates, updates. So, I sold the, uh, the Vulcan today. It's a very nice young man. He was in the in the armed forces. Came up from uh, from San Antonio, and uh, <laughs> he took it around the block once, uh, paid me, and then proceeded to get on it to ride home, and then dropped it at the end of the street. Um, but that's okay. He's he's gonna learn. It'll be all right. Um, other updates. I got the uh, the Raptor done. So, let me just say this about the Yamaha Raptor. It scared the shit out of me. I was having trouble with it, and so I bypassed all of its rev limiters, and I was sitting there in the garage thinking to myself, why does this stupid shitty fucking quad have rev limiters and stuff? Well, apparently it actually has them for a very good reason, and that very good reason is that it will in fact rip your head off if you're not paying attention. Which, you know, is as far as rev limiters go, a pretty good reason to have some. I need to adjust my, my idle a little bit. So, the problem with this bike is I went back and redid the valves, readjusted them, um, and found that they were all way too tight, which is why I was having a little bit of a starting problem when it was cold. But now that I've readjusted them, uh, I found a much different problem. I have way too much compression now for that crummy little eBay battery I got uh, in this bike. So right, for the moment, this bike is basically kickstart only, which is really not a lot of fun. It is not a lot of fun to kickstart a full-size KTM. Uh, so I ordered one of those 210 CCA um, lithium-ion jobs. Uh, I had a bunch of credit card points left over, so it was only like 50 bucks, but normally they're like 140 something. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that <laughs> solves my way too much compression issue. Um, I'm riding in boots today. Uh, cause like I said, I think we're going and gonna hit some trails and stuff. Um, hopefully nothing too crazy. I'm just, yeah. Um, yeah, so, let's see, any other updates? Got the Raptor running, sold the Vulcan. Okay, so, topic for today is shitty negotiating techniques, or how not to buy something. So I showed the uh, Forerunner to a guy this morning. This uh, he drove two hours to come here. So I take a look at the bike, or I'm sorry, he takes a look at the truck and um, walks around, opens every door, checks under every carpet, under the seat, under whatever. Um, and I'm like, okay, you know, whatever, man, whatever floats your boat. Um, then he goes in and he starts it, and then he looks around at everything, and I'm like, okay. He's like, can we go for a test drive? And I go, yeah, absolutely. So he drives it down the road, and we're driving for a little bit, and he's driving it, and he's short shifting like crazy. Like, he's shifting at like 2,000 RPM. And on that truck, you gotta rev it a little. And then he looks at me and goes, there's something wrong with this engine. And I go, what makes you say that? And he was like, it's got no power, you know. And I was like, well, first of all, you can try revving it. Um, that's how engines are made. It's not a diesel. It doesn't make peak torque at 1,500 RPM. So you do have to rev it. And I said, the second thing is, I got eight inches of lift. What the fuck is that guy doing? I got eight inches of lift and 35s on this thing with stock gearing. So it's not going to be what you would call quick. And he was like, well, you know, I used to have one of these that had the four banger in it and it had and an automatic and it had way more pickup than this. And I go, well, did it have 35s and an eight inches of lift on it? 
And he was like, well, no. And I was like, well, you might want to start there. And anyway, we get back and he gives me this like little look and he was like, you know, I kind of want to buy it, but I still think there's something wrong with the engine. And I could build this whole truck for, you know, 3,000 bucks. So that's what I'll give you. I'll give you 3,000 bucks for it. And I was like, ha, 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 okay, why don't you go home? Because uh, you're clearly, your head is clearly not in the game here, bud. Uh, and he was like, no, you can just sell it to me for $3,000. I was like, if I wanted to sell it for $3,000, I could sell it to any number of people, and they wouldn't be you. So the moral of the story is, don't show up to look at somebody's vehicle, and then make up random mechanical problems, and then offer them half of what they're asking. Because in general, they're going to laugh at you. Now, if he had shown up, and that engine was toast or something like that, and I had been lying about it and he made me that offer, I could sort of understand that. But the truth is, that truck drives just fine. So, holy crap, this is really scary. There's a really strong crosswind up here, and, and I really don't like being up on these overpasses on a supermoto to begin with. But when there's really strong crosswinds, it makes it just that much harder to turn your head and lean through the turn. And if I had known this was where I was going, I would have just taken the service road, goddammit. Alright, well, anyway, I'm about to meet up with Clayton. Uh, I'll probably record it, but it probably won't go in the vlog. Um, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. So, uh, there's a, I got, I figured out that YouTube, you can schedule videos so you can upload stuff and then not have it, uh, show up on your account until whenever you want it, you know? So I've already uploaded the next two weeks worth of footage, uh, into YouTube. So you guys have a whole bunch of cool stuff to look forward to, uh, in the coming weeks. And, uh... I've decided that I am going to go ahead and, whoa, I'm going to go ahead and pay attention to the fucking road. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load up the, uh, uh, load up the Raptor into the truck, and I'm definitely going to take it out to, uh, to Hidden Falls or something like that, and give you guys a true off-road review, because that thing is nuts. It is, like, it's been a long time since I've been scared of riding something. I mean, I've hopped on turbocharged boosts and all kinds of random garbage, and and you never blink an eye. But this thing is just wicked. It's just scary, scary wicked. Because you can't lean on it because it's a quad. So every time you go into a turn too hot, it feels like you're going to fly off. And also, it's like... It's got so much raw power that when you hit that thumb throttle, that's the other thing, it's got a thumb throttle on it, like all ATVs do apparently. And I'm not really used to a thumb throttle. So I just mashed it and the whole fucking thing just picks up the front end. Um, and I was, I was terrified. I cried a little bit. Okay, I cried a lot of little bits, but you know, whatever. I don't, I don't need judgment guys, I need love. Anyway, so I'm going to go and play with that out in the dirt where it belongs. Um, and Anyway, I don't know what the fuck was up with that idle. Let me bolt this down a little tighter. Hmm, that's my, that's my sad face. Because, oh God. Yeah, doing, doing this in gloves is not, not cool. Um, anyway, so, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys, uh, you know, make sure you ride safe. Be, uh, be good out there. And I will catch you later. Fuck on, lady. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
I'm in trouble. I am so in trouble. <laughs>